Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome to this little side of the internet. I decided today that what we're going to do is something that I've been thinking about for a little bit and spent some time trying to develop the concept um, and it's not fully fleshed out yet. Um, but I thought it would be a fun way to pick my TBR and that is I developed my own little TBR game that I am calling Song Association TBR. Um, or the TBR Song Association. I don't know what the full title is yet. It's working. It's a working title. Um, but basically the concept of this is that I'm going to be going through a playlist that I've made of recent likes, recent favorites of songs that I've found over, over the course of a couple of months. Um, and I'm planning on um, doing it monthly to figure out you know songs that I find through the month and then using those songs but since this one just started and I really wasn't super prepared um, in the month prior I thought I would use songs that I have listened to in you know previous months that I've been really loving and we've got some of my favorites sprinkled in there we have some new releases some really great bops um, and so I thought this would be really fun because I love music and I love listening to music when I read, when I'm doing whatever and I thought it would be fun to incorporate music into picking my TBR for the month. So we're going to be picking my June TBR today um, using a playlist that I've created called June TBR <laughs> um, and this has over a hundred songs on it um, and so there is a lot of chance for some interesting choices and my genres that I listen to are pretty widespread so we've got you know some pop we've got some like lo-fi some instrumentals we have some musicals on here <laughs> um, because I do love musicals um, we also have some like folk indie um, as well as some kind of rock so I thought this would be really fun and I'm really excited to do this today and it's also something that I know you guys could do yourself so if you just compile a list of songs that you found through the month or some of your favorite songs um, you can definitely play this game as well I'm also going to be leaving my playlist down below so that you guys can hear the songs that were on this month's shuffle list for the TBR song association game um, but Without further ado, let's get into a little bit more of how this is going to work. So right here on my iPad, I have my playlist and it is over six hours long, um, but it has all the songs that I wanted to compile in this list. And basically, this is a very intuitive game. It is something that I think is really good for mood readers, which I definitely am. Um, I do like to kind of figure out what I want to read before the start of the month, but sometimes picking based on just a specific prompt, it gets a little bit difficult. So the way this is gonna work is I'm going to shuffle the playlist and the song that comes up, I'm going to listen to it and I'm going to either decide by feeling, mood, atmosphere, what book that reminds me of or makes me think of that's on my shelves that I want to read. Um, or if I want to go a different route, I can choose um, a book that has some of the words that are in the title of the song, that are in the lyrics, some of my favorite lyrics, pick a word from that, um, and just kind of feel it out. It's definitely um, gonna be kind of loose and definitely based on interpretation, um, but I think that's what's so fun about it is that you get to use some of your favorite music to influence what you're going to read in the month and I just think it's gonna be really fun. So, that's what we're gonna do. I think we're gonna do six shuffles. There aren't gonna be any punishments to where I have to add more shuffles or where I have to add the amount of books that I'm reading just because I haven't fully developed what that would be yet. <laughs> But um, I think I'll start with six and then, you know, as I play this game over the next couple of months, I'll see if I can develop some more intricate details and ways to play this game that aren't so like loose and flowy. But I do really like the aspect that it's loose and flowy and that I'm not punishing myself for picking books and wanting to read. Um, so we're going to start with six this month and I am just super excited to start this today. I can't wait. I'm also wearing my Elizabeth Swan well, I guess it was originally William Turner's, but um, the medallion from Pirates of the Caribbean. I got this at Claire's, no, Icing, when I was like 10, when the movie came out, because I was obsessed. And she was like one of my favorite characters in the whole world, still is. She was iconic, so badass, 
love her so much um and so i thought i would keep her spirit with me today because i recently found this and i just i used to wear it all the time and i wanted to wear it today i feel very piratey and very summery so in case you're wondering what my necklace was it's the medallion um but let's go ahead and get into the songs that I have and do the first shuffle. Little PSA, obviously I can't play these songs for you guys. You're going to have to look them up on YouTube or or listen to them with some other music app, which I know is frustrating, but um, they're copywritten. So I can't play them on YouTube. Um, but what I will do is I'll put, you know, some copyright free music over me listening to them and kind of developing my ideas before I let you know what book I'm going to choose and all of that. So definitely look at the playlist if you can, if you have Spotify or if you need to figure out what songs I'm choosing, you can look them up elsewhere. I'm sorry I'm making you work, but <laughs> um, I can't play them for you guys, which is really unfortunate because I would love to jam out to all of these songs with you guys, but that's how copyright works. So we are going to shuffle. As you can see, I was listening to Olivia Rodrigo earlier. She is on this playlist. All of her songs from her newest album are on here. Um, but we're going to shuffle. I haven't shuffled it yet. And we're gonna see what song comes up. Okay, the first song is Easy by Troye Sivan, Casey Musgraves, and Mark Ronson, um, which is this cover. And I'm gonna listen to the song again because I haven't listened to it in just a little bit. So I want to kind of feel the vibe, see what I'm feeling, and we're gonna choose a book after that. Okay, that song is an absolute bop. It is has like a really fun kind of 80s beat to it um it's very summery and very fun and i thought i would also look up the lyrics so that i could see if anything sticks out to me and reminds me of a book um but some of the lyrics say i can't even look at you would you look at the space just next to your feet the wood is warping the lines distorting this house is on fire burning the tears right off my face what the hell did we do tell me we make it through because he made it easy please don't leave me um and i just i think those are really beautiful lyrics um and so i get a kind of magical realism feeling with this especially with the wood warping and the lines distorting um and so i think my gut is to pick a magical realism book so i think that's what we're gonna go do i'm gonna go look at my shelf and kind of figure out which book I want to choose that has magical realism involved. Okay, so I know I could very easily choose Anna Marie Mclemore, whom I love and does some really great uh, magical realism, but I am trying to work through my backlist TBR, and I do have quite a few books um, on my TBR that I forget about that I got a while ago, and this one just stood out to me because I do remember a Bit about what it's about um, but I don't remember anyone talking about it and that is I Remember You by Kathleen David Bell. This one is about a boy and a girl Lucas and Juliet and they are both kind of they're in high school and they're both working through their different things. He's a hockey player and she's like a straight A student um, but when they meet and when they see each other they swear they can remember their first kiss. Um, and they I don't think they've even spoken before so it's very strange a very weird feeling for them and um, it seems like they lived another life together or they've had this experience that they can't explain um, and that gives me the magical realism aspect I feel like it's something magical has happened between them um, that they can't explain and don't understand um, and that just sounds right for me so this book is what I'm going to choose for the song Easy by Troye Sivan and um, Casey Musgraves. So first book we have is I Remember You by Kathleen David Bell. I'm actually quite excited about that one because I have not picked that up and I've had it for quite a few years. So I am very excited to have that one because um, it does sound like a really interesting concept and I'm, I'm hoping it's done well. Okay, here we are and we are going to do spin shuffle number two um as you can see it's already shuffled so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna click next or we can swipe let's just click next click next 
<laughs> one of my favorite songs in the whole world. So I don't know if I've ever talked about this. I'm pretty positive I have just because it holds such a special place in my heart. Um, but Gabrielle Applin is one of my favorite 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 singer songwriters ever um i think she is so talented her lyrics hit me to my core and just absolutely transform my world i am just absolutely obsessed with her work um and so this is one of my favorite songs from her album english rain which came out in like 2014 maybe um she's just fabulous i love her so much and she just gives me all the vibes all the feelings um and so that song is november from this album so to give you a little bit of context of some of the lyrics at the very beginning of the song um it says i left you out in the english rain to soak you through and dilute the blame don't ever want to hear those words today you made me high then you swooped so low from a hummingbird to a silent crow i was on your side but then i saw it change i always used to love november but now it always floods with rain oh how can i forgive those words will stain forever um and something that she has talked about with this is that it's not from a personal situation but it's kind of a song that she wanted to write creatively about you know nature and the earth she really liked the idea that november always brings you back to a time of when that bad event happened and instead of reminding you of a festive time reminds you of that bad thing so with that i'm getting the vibes of a breakup or someone kind of coming up back from a breakup or really struggling with a breakup so that is something i could do um or also just something i feel like that's very atmospheric and is talking about november or the earth or you know having certain feelings about that so i'm gonna go look at my shelf there is one book that is actually standing out to me now that i think about it that deals with you know the earth and the seasons and um actually deals with the time period that November is pretty much set around. So I think I'm gonna go grab that book right now. So the book that I have here, it is something that I've had from my dad. He has given it to me to read and I just never get around to reading it. And I would love to be able to read it and discuss it with him. Um, and that is Autumn by Carl O. Nosgaard. This is a collection of short stories that Carl has written to his undorn to his unborn daughter um, and every day he adds a new piece a new short story where he describes the world um, it says he describes the material and natural world with the precision and mesmerizing intensity that have become his trademark this tender and deeply personal book is beautifully illustrated and the first four volumes marveling at the vast unknowable universe around us um, and even though i would say november is more winter time period i think that this just gives me November vibes. It gives me that feeling of um, connecting with the earth and looking at the earth around you and the world and, you know, the seasonal change. Um, and I would just love to read this because I would love to have a short story, especially on this in this month to read because that always helps me break up the month and break up my reading. Um, but this is just what my mind went to. And I'm really glad because I haven't really gotten around to reading this and I think this gives me a really great push to pick this one up and I've heard it's absolutely gorgeous I just I love this cover so so much and I've heard really great things um about Nosgard. and yeah I'm just really excited because it's also illustrated and I love having illustrations um like look at how gorgeous this is I am just super super excited oh my goodness it is some interesting artwork in here that I am very, very much looking forward to. <gasps> this is perfect. I knew I was on the right track. Um, so these are separated by months of autumn and he actually has um, the last section, which is November. And so it works out perfectly. My intuition was correct. This game is all about intuition and I'm really glad because I am super excited to pick this up. This is making me so happy. I'm actually super pleased with how this is going. Um, I wasn't sure if it was going to work out the way I thought, but I'm picking some really great songs. Well, actually the universe is picking some great songs through Shuffle, um, but I picked, I picked such great books already. I'm so happy about. So we're going to go ahead and do the third Shuffle right now. Stop! Oh my gosh, we're really getting hit with the hard ones right now. 
Oh my gosh, okay. So the song that I picked for number three is You Don't Know How Lucky You Are by Keaton Henson. And if you don't know who Keaton Henson is, um, he is a beautiful, beautiful artist, singer, songwriter, um, who has such raw and emotional music that uh, just takes my heart and squeezes it. Um, and I, I, I need to learn more about him. I do know a bit about him because of Whitney from Woody Novels who um, she really really loves him and she was talking about how he he doesn't or at least rarely performs in person because he has anxiety about it um, and that is not an environment in which he's comfortable um, but his music is absolutely so gorgeous and so beautiful and so heart-wrenching um, and so I'm so excited because the song just like is etched on my heart I feel like so I need to pick out a book but I'm gonna listen to the song a little bit to get my feeling and then we will choose the book for this song oh, okay so um, to give you a little bit of the lyrics if you guys don't want to listen to the song itself it's really beautiful, has a really nice guitar, and um, it kind of swells a little bit when some of the lyrics hit a little bit deeper, and I just, I love that about the song. Um, and so, um, some of the lyrics at the beginning are, does he know who you are? Does he laugh just to know what he has? Does he know not to talk about your dad? Does he know when you're sad? You don't like to be touched, let alone kissed. Does he know where your lips begin? It's just so beautiful. The lyrics, like, are absolutely gorgeous but in the format of the song it's just it's it just blows my mind so so obviously this is referencing to Keaton Hensing's or the narrator's um discussion of an ex and how that ex is with somebody else but how they don't believe that they could ever understand what the narrator and the ex have been through because they have such an intimate connection um and so I would love to pick up a book about exes getting back together or someone still pining over someone um, or just someone dealing with heartache, dealing with a breakup. Um, I think that that is where my mind is going, where my vibes are. So I think we're gonna go look at my shelf and see what I find. Okay, so I think I have picked my choice and I'm very excited about it. Um, I don't think it's going to be as emotional as that song makes me, which is obviously completely fine. I'm just going to go with my gut. Um, but this is something that deals with like a past lover and they may reconcile their differences or get back together. Who knows? But I do know they're going to have to work together um, in this adventure story. And that is The Lady Rogue by Jen Bennett. This book is about, apparently it's like an Indiana Jones kind of reimagining with a female protagonist. I think it's a girl named Theodora and her father is a treasure hunter. And so I think she gets involved with his treasure hunting and her father's protege is Theodora's ex-lover, Huck. And so they have to work together um, while they travel through Romania to do some treasure hunting, do some work for her father. And it just sounds really good. I'm excited to see some of the things they're gonna have to deal with and reconcile with um, between their relationship. Um, and I just really love stories like that where people have to kind of sort out their differences to work together and complete a mission or you know complete this adventure so so this is the choice that I've made for you don't know who you are by Keaton Henson this is the one that I'm choosing and I'm very excited I think this is a really good choice and it sounds really fun and I think this is a good choice because this is going to be something that's adventurous and fun and I think we're going to see you know different places around the world like Romania which I don't read a lot about so I'm very very excited alrighty so we are on to shuffle number four um, and I'm feeling really good. So let's go ahead and click the next one. <laughs> okay, this is funny. Okay, so the song that has come up is from a musical that I really enjoy. Not one of my favorites, I don't think, but I do really enjoy it. Um, and that is Carrie the Musical. Um, and the song that came up is The World According to Chris. And whenever I think about Carrie, unfortunately now, whenever I think about Carrie the Musical, I unfortunately think about I unfortunately think about um Riverdale's version of Carrie the musical which was something so 
that's I've got to get that out of my mind but I do really enjoy the musical I think it's a fun take on you know Stephen King's Carrie which I have not read does that mean I'm reading Carrie does that mean I'm reading Carrie I've never read a Stephen King okay so I don't know if Carrie is the right one to start with if I want to venture into some Stephen King this month um let me look up how long it is first of all okay this is pretty short actually it's only 199 pages so you know what when i added this song i knew that there was going to be the possibility that i would be reading carrie if this came up and since it came up i'm gonna read carrie so we're gonna read Carrie by Stephen King. Um, I really love this movie. I really like this musical um, And I think the story is really interesting It's about a girl named Carrie and she is a loner outsider in high school and she gets bullied But she has some sort of power that we don't really truly understand and neither does she she has a very strict um, very Christian mother who doesn't let her do a lot of things and kind of babies her and so it's about her kind of discovering her own power and this big chaos. I mean, I'm sure you guys know what Carrie is, but I'm kind of excited actually. I love October books, some spooky books in um, in the summertime. I think it's a really fun time to read them. Um, so we're gonna read Carrie. I'm excited. I'm gonna see if I can find maybe the audiobook or if I can get um, like a thrifted copy of Carrie or if my parents own it, I don't know, but I don't personally own it. Um, but that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna read Carrie. Um, and and the world according to Chris the song is like a bop like I love that song It's like the villain like the mean girls song about how she gets everything she wants and how That's always how it's gonna be and sorry about it But I'm not treating Carrie any nicer because why would I do that when? Um, I know how the world works and the world is gonna revolve around me so it's a fun song um, and I'll be curious to see how Chris is portrayed and characterized in the book um, and compare that as well to the movies. Maybe I'll watch the movie again. Um, I really like the original. I like the new one alright but Sissy Spacek just like does a crazy good carry I think so um, yeah that'll be really fun. I'm really excited. Okay so we are on to our fifth shuffle and um, let's hope it's a good song and hope it gives me some good vibes and points me to the right book. Let's go. Oh. Mm. Okay, so we have Rainbow by Dodie. Um, and I really do love Dodie. I think her voice is beautiful and her music is very transportative and I feel very comfortable and safe when I hear her music, which is always a really nice feeling. Um, she is like one of my favorite songs. Um, it just hmm. Anyways, but I really do like rainbow as well And so I'm gonna listen to this again kind of get in the mindset of the song and feel it out and then I'll let you know what I'm thinking Okay, so I think this is a perfect song to come up because it is Pride Month in June, which is super exciting and I am so excited to be reading a lot of LGBTQIA plus books this month, which aren't on this TBR, obviously, like at this point, I don't have any except for the one I'm going to choose right now, um, but I have more books that I'm going to be reading in the month, which are going to be Pride Month themed. Um, so um, this is great because it adds another one to this TBR, which is amazing. Um, so this this song um, called Rainbow talks about about people who are in the community and sometimes feel shameful or like they are not accepted for who they are and that they should feel accepted for who they are and that they're more than just a rainbow um, and that they should be who they truly are and express that um which i think is beautiful and it's it's a really beautiful song and i really enjoy it so um i'm gonna be picking a pride month an lgbtqia plus book which is amazing and i need to go through i have so many so i'm really excited to pick one for this tbr okay so the book i have chosen is one that i recently got in a book box from i think fairy loot let's see owl crate 
Um, and ever since I got it, I have just been itching to get my hands on it. And so this is the perfect chance to obviously read it. Um, and that is Sweet and Bitter Magic by Adrian Tooley. This is a sapphic romance. We are following Tasman, who is a powerful witch, um, but she has been exiled from her coven and therefore cannot love. Um, and so she steals love from others and then there is Ren who is a rare kind of person who is made of magic despite being unable to use it herself um, and so they work together to help her catch to help to help catch um, a dark witch responsible for creating a plague. And then the last line says, of course, love bargains are a tricky thing and these two have a long perilous journey ahead of them. That is if they don't kill each other first. So it sounds like it might be a little hate to love as well, which is always really fun for me. I love hate to love. Um, and this is such a gorgeous edition and a book like I said, I've been anticipating for a while, but I'm super excited um, to pick this one up. I can't wait. It's the perfect chance for um, for the song, especially with Rainbow. Um, and I, I need some fantasy as well this month. So this is really great. And I haven't read about witches in a while, so that's going to be really exciting. Alrighty, we have one more book to choose. So we are going to do one more shuffle, and then that'll be the end of this month's song association tbr let's go <laughs> oh my gosh okay this is so funny so this song is anymore by lil aaron and kim petrus which i am such a fan of i love kim petrus so much and this song is just very fun and like very pop punk, which is something that I feel like has been rising up recently, which I love. Reminds me of my childhood. Um, and so, very excited about this choice. Um, I'm gonna look up the lyrics so I can tell you guys what they say. So this song is fun. It says, I don't know you anymore. There's a reason I ignore all the stupid things you tell me. You think you're better off without me. I should have listened to the stuff my mama told me, not to mention all the warnings from my homies. Would have let you kill me, girl, but that's the old me. So drink up, drink up so you can forget that you're lonely. So I feel like this is a very bitter breakup and kind of like, bye, see you later, um, about somebody. So I feel like, I don't know, what is the vibe I'm getting from this? I'm getting definitely a contemporary. I don't know if I'm gonna pick another breakup book because I already picked one of those <laughs> for the other ones. I apparently like music that's about breakups. Um, can you tell? Olivia Rodrigo, Sour, just that's always on my mind. Um, but I think I'm going to pick something that's a contemporary and that is maybe not so focused on romance, but maybe friendships instead. I think that would be really fun. I love a good friendship in a book. And so maybe I'm gonna pick something that kind of follows along with those lines. Okay, I think this is actually a really good choice for this song because I chose a book that is I think definitely more based around friendships between girls, but also kind of a fight back and a like big in your face um, about sexism and things that these girls are dealing with in their small town and so I think that kind of emulates the like badassness of this song um, and that is Moxie by Jennifer Matthew. This is a book that just became a movie recently and I have been wanting to see it so bad but I wanted to read the book first um, and I think this just sounds great and super fun and very powerful and good girl friendships and good fighting back obviously against the patriarchy and sexism um, but I think this is a really fun choice and I can't wait to read this because then I can read the movie very very soon. So this is the one I've chosen for Anymore by Lil Aaron and Kim Petras. Very excited to read this and hopefully I really enjoy this because I've heard so many great things about the movie so really looking forward to this. So that is going to be it for my song association TBR game that I've just started. That is my TBR for June. Um, I'm going to be obviously reading a lot more books than this and more books that are um, LGBTQIA plus um, for Pride Month, which is super exciting. Um, but thank you guys anyways for being here. I adore you guys so much. You guys are so wonderful. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this new game that I've developed. If you guys want to try it out yourself, please do. Um, and if you guys want to check out the music that I've used or the playlist that I used this month, um, I will leave it down below as well as I will leave some resources for some very important things that are happening in the world right now that you should definitely point your attention to in ways that you can get in and help and do anything that you can. I want 
to give you guys those resources so that you guys can check them out um but thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed and if you guys haven't already hit the bell so you can get notified when i upload as well as subscribe if you have not yet already um and i will talk to you guys in my next one bye